throughout history. Mankind has reported on all sorts of strange occurrences, witches, werewolves, vampires, UFOs, ghosts, angels, and demons. Are these all just urban legends, stories, or myths? Or is there some form of truth that lurks in the shadows? Together, we endeavor to explore and investigate these strange occurrences which have taken place throughout mankind's history. Together, we are ETFW. Welcome to the library. Located between Cleveland and Columbus is a small city called Mansfield. The beautiful city features many old and historic buildings throughout, displaying many different design errors. However, none more so than what appears to be a grand hotel, with its soaring French chateau-like spires, intricate brickwork, and stained glass windows. Seems as if it would have hosted the rich and famous. However, looks can always be deceiving, for this is no hotel of any kind. It is the Ohio State Reformatory. The grounds in which the Ohio State Reformatory would be built upon were first documented in 1861 as a location to train Civil War soldiers. The camp's name had significant meaning to Ohio as it was named Camp Mordecai Bartley in honor of the Mansfield man who served as Ohio's governor in the 1840s. In 1867, Mansfield was promoted as a candidate for the placement of the new Intermediate Penitentiary. The city would raise $10,000 to purchase 30 acres of land for the prison and the state acquired a further 150 acres of adjoining land for an additional $20,000. The prison itself was intended to be a place for young, male, non-violent first-time offenders, giving them the chance for rehabilitation, rather than condemning them to the state penitentiary in Columbus. Construction for the new reformatory began in 1886 and remained under construction until 1910 due to funding problems. The original architect for the design was Levi T. Schofield from Cleveland, who used three architectural styles, Victorian Gothic, Richardsonian Romanesque, and Queen Anne. The exterior of the building, which is built from brick and concrete, is designed in the Romanesque style, giving the front a castle-like appearance. The design for the reformatory, with these unique styles, was to help encourage inmates to become reborn back into society. In 1891, the name was changed from Intermediate Penitentiary to the Ohio State Reformatory. On September 15, 1896, the reformatory opened its doors to its first 150 offenders. These prisoners were brought in by train from Columbus and put to work on the prison sewer system and the 25-foot stone wall surrounding the complex. In the 1970s, the reformatory was declared a maximum security prison and due to swelling prison population, they were forced to take more inmates, convicted of more serious and violent crimes. Around this time, some of the most cruel and barbaric punishments and events are documented. One particular event was when a riot broke out in the East Cell Block. The guards condemned 120 rioters to share 12 solitary confinement cells for one week without food and little water. The punishment drove many to the brink of madness and death. However, possibly the most famous of all was the punishment simply known as The Hole. Made famous in the movie Shawshank Redemption, The Hole was meant as a severe punishment to prisoners. It was an isolated chamber where only one prisoner at a time would reside. The hole was half the size of a normal cell and as low as a basement room. It had only one window that opened into a corridor and prisoners weren't given a normal diet. Often, they were giving nothing at all. The hole was designed to feel small and cramped, not allowing for a prisoner to be comfortable no matter which way he lay or stood. It was meant to feel like it was closing in on the prisoner, driving them to madness until they were nothing but babbling lost souls. During the 94 years it operated, 154,000 inmates passed through the gates of the Ohio State Reformatory. Many died of diseases like influenza and tuberculosis. Some went mad and others hung themselves. One inmate even lit himself on fire. Just outside the reformatory stands 215 numbered graves. They serve as a harsh reminder of the reality of this prison's cruelty. As these practices continued for many years, eventually the reformatory was forced to cease all operation and close down due to its brutalizing and inhumane conditions. In December 1990, the reformatory was officially closed by the federal court order. Since then, most of the grounds and support buildings 
including the outer wall, were demolished. However, in 1995, the Mansfield Reformity Preservation Society was formed and they were able to turn the prison into a museum, as well as help fund the grounds and buildings restoration and stabilization against further deterioration. Since its closure, there have been a number of reports of paranormal activity. Visitors have been pushed and even punched by unseen forces. Many have even said that they feel an inexplicable chill down to their bones while visiting the prison. There have also been reports of cell doors slamming shut and seeing dark figures in hallways and doors. However, when approaching them, they mysteriously vanish. Local legend says that even the road leading to the Ohio State Reformatory is haunted by the ghost of Phoebe Wise, a notorious Mansfield hermit and eccentric. What do you believe of the Ohio State Reformatory? Would you be brave enough to visit? If you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new here and comment down below your thoughts. Until next time, we are ETFW.